Cairo, Egypt, 4.3 magnitude earthquake today. Activity in the Great Rift Valley and quake activity is there from the south all the way to the north, from the South Africa all the way to Cairo, Egypt. We're going to see the volcanoes in the area all the way from South Africa all the way to Egypt. And we're going to talk about the volcanoes in the area of Israel. A lot of people believe that there are no volcanoes in Israel. Perhaps this is what happened during the time of Lot. We don't know. Um, something happened at the time when uh, it was raining uh, some kind of uh, brimstone, fire and brimstone. It could have been a volcanic eruption. Uh, this is the Great Rift Valley, as we can see. Okay, here we are at Sizemore, Berkeley, and this is today's uh, Egypt, just south of uh, the Egypt, of, uh, the uh, Cairo area. Uh, the area is basically Fayoum, and um, this is, again, 3.6, 5 kilometers South Africa, and um, this was a few days ago on the 26th, 5 magnitude in the area of the Great Rift Valley. Again, this one here, 4.4. Okay, this was basically um, three days apart. And uh, they took off, this is Greece and Cyprus, Cyprus 4.9. They took off the Israel earthquakes. Okay, we had a 3.8 like last Saturday. Oh, this is just not okay. So going into this, I really support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support, and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box. Johannesburg, South Africa. This is where we've had our earthquake. Four people reported it to USGS. Tectonics. Population density and uh, aerial okay let's pull out a little bit just to see where we are east africa okay johannesburg south africa let's pull out a little bit more you can see better as to what's happening the overall view okay um as you can see they don't have the they have not marked the uh faults but that is a fault you can see all this rivers and lakes and we're going to see the volcanoes too, all the way up here. And then it joins up to here, the Transjordanian Fault going all the way up through Israel. And even Sea of Galilee is a crater lake. So today's quake was around there in Cairo, 4.3 magnitude. And uh, let's go again to see, I don't want to get rid of this map. Uh, I just want to see how many people reported it to USGS. Okay, that's one person reported it. 4.3, Fayoum. Okay, just east of Fayoum. It's about uh, 100 uh, miles south of Giza. And what, uh, 70 miles east of Fayoum. And pulling out. Okay, here we have the Transjordanian Fault, as you can see going through the Red Sea, the Dead Sea, and right through the Sea of Galilee, right there, okay? That's it right there. And let's go to our uh, Great Rift Valley. I want you to see the volcanoes there, okay? USGS, all the red, is all the red points here, map of East Africa showing some of the historical activity, and volcanoes red triangles and the afar triangle shaded center right there a so-called triple junction just like the one de fuca plate one of the worst areas of the world where three plates are pulling away from one another the arabian plate the two parts of the african plate the nubian plate and somali Splitting along the East African Rift Zone, the red triangles show historical active, historically active volcanoes. So all this from south to top, this is our map. The volcanoes are on the Arabian plate. But let, uh, if we go to the, um, where are we? Here. 
I want to, I want to, it, it, they don't show volcanoes here, but look at that. I want you to go in. I want, let's go in because a lot of people have, um, I think there's somewhere around here. Uh, some of these are so pristine. You can see the lava flows. Where are we? And um, they even found impact sites, asteroid impact sites from looking at um, um, Google Earth. Where are they? Don't, they don't show it here. I think it's something more, somewhere around here. Um, some of them look so pristine, you would think that it was made yesterday. Um, and a lot of these, uh, look at that. A lot of these volcanoes, of course, you have this area, of course, uh, you know, uh, of North Africa, a lot of oil and gas in these areas. Okay, and wherever you have sea coast and sea, you have uh, oil and gas reserves. Of course, Arabia and Greece. It's just that Greece has not really extracted it yet. Cyprus, Greece is now extracting it, even though Turkey is uh, uh, up in arms about that. Okay, because it was part of the action. So, going back to our volcanoes, Okay, all of this is a volcanic area. It's a rift zone. And um, East Rift Valley, as we can see there. And this is the northern quarter of Jacob's Ford, Israel. And uh, you can see how, you know, the, the active uh, geology, the drift, the drift of the Arabian plate against the Nubian plate. Look at this. Um, the Rift Valley, as we have even in the United States, the uh, Great Plains, this is what happens. Remember yesterday's video, I talked about the mantle plume under the Great Lakes. And at one point, many, millions of years ago, Lake Superior was uh, flush neighboring Wyoming and, and the Yellowstone. And this would be the ocean, but this would be, of course, not the ocean basin, but in, in, the, in the event of, um, in the case of the United States, the Great Plains, that's the mantle plume. There are the Great Plains. Uh, Superior was closer to Wyoming. The Great Plains stretched out because of the magma that's underneath. Okay. This is happening in uh, the area of the uh, Great Rift Valley as well in Africa. What's happening in uh, the Great Plains of the United States. So here we are map of the Rift Valley from south to north. And as we saw before, the volcanoes all along here and here and into uh, the areas of, as we'll see, in Egypt, in uh, Israel. Okay. So the Great Rift Valley, at one point, just as Madagascar came off Africa, this area of the east will also, in millions of years, slough off. It's a series of con contiguous geographic trenches, approximately 4,300 miles or 7,000 kilometers in total length, running from Beka Valley in Lebanon, all the way to Lebanon up here, which is in Asia, to Mozambique, South Africa. While the name continues in some usages, it's rarely used in geology, as it's considered a, an imprecise merging of separate, though related, rift and fault systems, Today, the term is most often used to refer to the Valley of East Africa Rift, divergent plate boundary, which extends from Afar, Triple Junction here, uh, southward across Eastern Africa, Eastern Africa, and it's the process of splitting the African plate into two separate plates. Geologists generally refer to these incipient plates as the Nubian plate and the Somalian plate. Okay, there we go again. Great Rift Valley, Ethiopia, Kenya. Oh, look, the Galilee earthquake. Oh, let's go to that one. Okay. The Galilee earthquake of 1837. This is the first time I said, look at that. The so-called Sfad earthquake shook Galilee January 1st, 1837. One of the number of moderate to large events that have occurred in the Dead Sea transform fault system. There we go. Okay. And Galilee's up here somewhere. 
Uh, it's a series of faults that run from the Maris Triple Junction to the northern end of the Red Sea Drift. The sea rift. The fault system forms the transform boundary between the Africa Plate and the West European Euro, Euro um, Eurasia Plate. It marks the boundary of two tectonics, the African and the Arabian Plate. In a 1977 assessment of the event was published and uh, had the epicenter just north of the city of Safad, magnitude 6.25 or 6.5. But in 1997, seismologist Nicolas Abrasse argued that the event may have been more substantial. The event was well documented by the 19th century missionary, archaeologist and author William McClure Thompson. The region in which the earthquake occurred was formerly part of the Ottoman, the Turkish Empire. At the same time, it was under control of the Egyptians, who were occupying after they had seized it during conflict. Okay, there we go. That's it right there. Fault in uh, Lebanon. But um, let's go to the volcanoes. Okay, that's the article about it. Let's go to the volcanoes. Oh, that wait, that's the Sea of Galilee right there. So basically it was north of the Sea of Galilee. There we go. And um, the volcanoes. According to Science Direct, the Levant volcanic extends through northeast Jordan to Syria, to the Golan Heights. Minor volcanic fields also developed in northern Israel, around the Hula Valley, northern Israel, and in southern Lebanon. This province is a part of the extensive volcanic field which developed during the Cenozoic. We're going to see some of the activity later on. In the northwestern part of the Arabian Plate, aligned roughly in a northwestern direction, sub-parallel to the Red Sea. The location of the Golan Heights is significant because of its proximity to the Dead Sea Rift Valley, which is assumed to be a transform fault on the Red Sea spreading system. The volcanic sequence in the Golan Heights and its surroundings, named the Bashan Group, overlines the lower Pliocene regional erosional unconformity. And this group is subdivided into five rock units, which differ in certain aspects of their morphology, attributed as well to their radiogenic ages. One, lower Pliocene basalts, five to three million years ago. Upper Pliocene basalts, 2.9 to 1.7 million years ago. Lower Pliocene basalts, 1.6 to 700,000 years ago. Upper Pleitocene basalts, 400,000 to 100,000 years ago. And Hylocene basalts, no data yet. So it's uh, younger. The, Plio the lower Pliocene basalts create a large volcanic plateau from southern Syria to lower Galilee. Lower Galilee being, of course, here. Okay, Syria, Lebanon, Syria, Syria up here, Lebanon, Galilee, that's the Golan Heights. Okay, Lower Galilee. Um, the present Dead Sea Rift in northern Israel began to subside at the end of, or after this phase, and the upper Pliocene basalts flowed into it from Lebanon and the Hula Valley. Pleistocene volcanic sources were recognized only in the eastern side of the rift. The mean rate of tectonic lowering of the Dead Sea Rift bottom south of the Sea of Galilee estimated to have been about 2.24 millimeters a year. The incision rate of the Yarmouk River, the main tributary of the Jordan River, was 0.13 millimeters a year. And the rate of infilling of the rift in this region was 0.11 millimeters a year. Okay, so this has to do with the volcanic activity of Israel. Okay, let's go in more, see this area. Okay, here we go. Red Sea, Red Sea, Dead Sea, and Sea of Galilee, Golan Heights, and Syria. Syria. Syria, Lebanon. Okay. So, Syria, Golan Heights, and then Lebanon. Okay. And you can even see, look at the marks here. You can see you can even see the marks of the fault look at that that looks like you know the similar things that we see in the uh, area of the san andreas fault look at that cracking here cracking 
look at this yeah Golan Heights mountains and Sea of Galilee the Sea of Galilee as we know since ancient times all this area had uh, spring has hot spring baths because there's magma underneath of course there's hot spring baths because there's magma underneath and uh, the uh, ancient Romans built a lot of beautiful you know hot spring baths they liked their hot baths didn't they and uh, there's still a lot of those are still around there today it's just like we have uh, uh, mineral baths in the Dead Sea as well here the Dead Sea here and that's the Jordan River flowing from Galilee all the way into the Dead Sea and out into out into the Red Sea uh, spiritually I remember I was always wondering about this uh, because you know Christ and his disciples were around there the only disciple that wasn't was from Jerusalem was Judas Iscariot the traitor but uh, spiritually he says just like the Sea of Galilee was um, a beautiful source of uh, blessed spiritual water the spirituality coming down flowing through the Jordan River into the Dead Sea the Dead Sea and then flowing out through the Red Sea to the whole world um, and that's what he explained was the philosophy and the spiritual aspect of love so anyway that I just uh, I have never been to Israel but uh, if I ever go I will never be able to leave <laughs> I'll be going, you know, every which way to the Holy Land for pilgrimages. But this is um, this is the uh, amazing activity that we've had lately. And as we said, these are only last week's, this week's um, earthquakes. They keep taking them off. That's why they took off the usual earthquakes as well. Um, that happened like, uh, when was it? Uh, not, not this past Saturday, but the former, the, the uh, Saturday before. Um, 3.8 magnitude and aftershocks and that's why the geologists and um, civil authorities of uh, Israel were saying well we've got to do something to strengthen our buildings you know there's a lot of obviously old buildings in Israel and they have to be uh, earthquake proofed so this is what's happening here around the Great Rift Valley which goes all these things volcanoes here volcanoes here and of course the volcanic um, activity up around the Transjordanian Fault as well and as we said before where are we Sea of Galilee is a volcanic lake okay for those of you who didn't know I was surprised when I learned that too please leave your comments thank you for your support